Hey, it's Troy from Resonate Recordings. We just want to thank you first for signing up and trusting us with producing your podcast. We're really excited to be working with you. And today I want to show you how to use the Resonate app. So this is where you're going to collaborate with our team, where you can monitor your episode credit balance, where you can purchase additional add-ons like show notes or audiograms. And it's really the one-stop place for everything that you're gonna be doing with the Resonate Recordings team. Before we get started in the app, I wanna let you know that you can contact us anytime at help at resonaterecordings.com or give us a call at 888-917-8793. All right, let's get started. So we are on resonaterecordings.com. This is our homepage. And you'll notice that we have a client login button in the nav bar on our homepage. The client login button will take you to the Resonate app login screen. On our login screen, we have a forgot password button. If you tap that, it will take you to a simple form where you can enter your email address and we'll send you a forgot password link if you can't remember your password or you need to reset your password. You'll probably want to bookmark this page, app.resonaterecordings.com. Let me log in. and I'll select Remember Me and that will keep me logged in. After I log in, I'm redirected to the Resonate home screen. The first thing I wanna draw your attention to is the nav bar. So if you tap our logo in the top left, that's gonna take you to the home screen. The first item in the nav bar is our record button for recording audio within the Resonate app. And we have a entire YouTube video explaining how our recorder works, walking you through how to record and attach recordings to your episodes. So I'd recommend you check that out. The next heading is credits. That's where you can keep track of credits that you've purchased with Resonate Recordings. And it also allows you to purchase new credits. This bubble turns red when you run out of credits and that'll prompt you to purchase more credits. The episodes tab will take you to this page, your homepage. And the settings are for your show settings and your user account profile settings. When you have multiple shows, this becomes a dropdown where you can select the show that you want to work on. And when you tap your profile photo, it's gonna take you to your settings. If you scroll to the very bottom, you'll see a theme switcher. You can switch between the light mode and dark mode in the Resonate app. I'm going to switch back to our dark theme. I like that one better. On your home screen, you'll see a listing of all the episodes you've submitted to Resonate and on the right hand side of each episode, you'll see either in progress or you'll see a play button. For episodes that have completed and they have a master file attached, you can tap the play button and that'll open up a new tab where you can listen to your master audio and review that file. We also have a link to your reusable assets. Reusable assets are files, recordings, and artwork that can be used across all of your episodes. Underneath your cover art, you'll also see a show profile link. And this is where you can collaborate with our team to craft your show, to tell us about your inspiration for your show, what kind of recording equipment you'll be using, and really anything that gives us additional information about your show and what makes your show unique that can help us give you that custom experience as we work on your episodes. At the bottom in our footer, there's a link to log out of the Resonate app, so this will take you directly back to the login screen. Let's get started creating an episode. So this is the new episode form. This is how you submit a in-progress draft episode. The title is the title of your episode. The season is season one, two, three, whatever season you're on for this episode. If you're in season two, episode one, this is your episode number, you would enter one here. The episode description is what will go out to the listing directories for this specific episode. It doesn't need to be the final version, but this should be a draft of the description that will go into Apple or Stitcher or Spotify for this episode. The next section is 
production. In editing and mixing instructions, you want to tell us about what our team is going to be doing on this episode. So here you'll want to enter timestamps where we need to edit your audio, or music beds that we need to add to this episode. And if this starts to get too long, you definitely want to consider using a document. So write out your instructions and your mixing instructions in a Word document that you can upload to this episode instead of trying to enter thousands of words into this little text box. If our team is uploading this episode to your hosting platform, you want to select this box to let us know that we'll be working with you to get this episode onto your hosting platform. And if you're submitting a draft that doesn't include everything we need to begin work on this episode, you'll want to select this box and then also give us a little comment or an explanation of what's remaining to take this from a draft to an episode that's ready to submit. You also find a drop down that says, when do you need this episode? So this is when you need our team to return this episode to you so you can review it and have enough time to get it ready for posting to your hosting platform. When you select the when you need your episode drop down, we default to three to five business days depending on your service level for your show. And we also have an option to rush your episode if you have a credit card on file with us. And we'll come back to that in a minute after we add a credit card to this show. The next section is for uploading files. So this is where you'll want to upload your recordings, any files that are related to this episode that our team is gonna need to produce your podcast episode. And if you select browse, it will open up your file browser and you can choose the files that you wanna upload and just upload as many files as you as you need to right here when you're creating your episode. When you're uploading files, you can upload video in addition to audio. You can also upload PDF files and Word documents if you have a long form script that you need to send to our team with additional instructions. Underneath the file uploader, you'll see a section titled recordings. This is where all of your Resonate Recorder recordings will appear. So this is like a bucket of all the recordings that you've done in our web app and you'll be allowed to select the recordings that you want to attach to each episode from here. And once a recording is attached to an episode, it disappears from the bucket and you can find that recording in the episode that it's connected to. The next section is add-ons. So for each episode, you have the option to purchase additional services from the Resonate team. You can buy show notes for the episode or an audiogram, or if you have audio that's longer than 60 minutes, you can purchase an add-on for us to edit that. The reason these are disabled is I don't have a credit card on file for this show. So I'm going to show you how to add a credit card to your show. You do that by tapping billing settings. Now we're in the show settings portion of the Resonate app. You can change the cover art for your show, change the name of your show. And what we want to do is add a credit card to our show. After you enter your credit card number, hit update. And this will add the card to your show. So now if we return to the create episode form, now we should be able to purchase add-ons. You can see because I have a credit card on file, I can select add-ons. In addition to purchasing add-ons, we also have the ability to rush an episode. So in the dropdown for when I need this episode, now that I have a credit card on file, I can choose a date with a rush fee and we'll be charged this rush fee when we hit submit to create the episode. Okay, so that is the create episode form in the Resonate web app. Next, I wanna show you the episode credits page. So at the top, you can select credits from the nav bar. And this page gives you a purchase history of all the credits that you've purchased with Resonate Recordings. The credits that have been used to create an episode are at the bottom here. You'll see credits that are already attached to an episode that I've created. And then there's also six unused credits that I have at the top. So this is a way for you to keep track of episode credits that you've purchased from us. You also have the ability when you run out of credits to purchase additional credits over here on the left hand side. So you just wanna choose the service level and then select how many credits you'd like to purchase and hit continue. Okay, let's return to the home screen. Okay, back on the home screen, you can select an episode that's in progress. So I'm gonna choose this bonus episode that we're working on for Culpable. If I tap on this, now we're on the episode details page. 
And this is where you can upload additional files to your episode. You can edit your episode. You can communicate with our team by leaving a comment. So up here in the top right corner, this is where you can leave a comment for our team. And then below this, you'll see comments from other people that are working on this episode on the Resonate team. After your master file is uploaded by someone on the Resonate team, we need you to leave a comment letting us know that you have reviewed and approved the master file that's attached to this episode. And especially if you've purchased show notes or an audiogram add-on, we'll need you to leave that approval comment. That way our team can get started on those add-ons for you. The last thing I wanna show you about this page is the edit episode button. So over here in the bottom left hand corner, if you tap edit episode, that's going to take you to a screen where you can edit everything about this episode. Now we're on the edit episode screen. This is where you can make changes to your description. So if you just started with a, a draft description when you submitted the episode, here you can add your finalized episode description or you can add additional mixing instructions. If you do make changes to your instructions, we just ask that you also send us a comment so that we know to check for the most recent editing and mixing instructions. Okay, that's it for the edit episode screen. I'm gonna return to the home screen. We just wanna thank you for your business. Thank you for using Resonate Recordings to create your podcast. That's a quick overview of the Resonate app. We'd encourage you to log in and create your first episode. And if you have any issues, you have any questions, please reach out to the Resonate team, help at resonaterecordings.com. That's gonna be a great way to reach our team. Thanks for watching.